40 years and five months, we lived together. Pakwisi was a thorough person who paid attention to detail, a very meticulous man. Those of us close to you know the sacrifices you made for the country from as far back as the late 1970. You served the country selflessly. You often said that you did not go into politics, but politics found you. He was not your mainstream politician. He was a technocrat who nurtured many people and delighted in seeing his proteges blossom and excel. You proved to all that a Christian could rise to a very high position and come out without soiling his or her name. A simple, honest, principled man of integrity, you are my dear husband. Unfortunately, it is the loud who are often recognized and praises showered on them. But in your quiet and humble way, you excelled wherever you found yourself. Over the last few weeks, I've been amazed at the number of people who have come to show us love. And I ask myself, is this Ghana? Are all these people in Ghana? Because the maligning, the lies, the treachery, the wickedness, the deliberately changing things so that you could look better than others, the mischievousness. I ask myself, is this Ghana? I ask myself, is this my own husband that people have come to pay tribute to? And today, I ask the same question. Did people really know my husband? Did they take time to know him? The false accusations, the lies, the maligning, did they know him? My dearest, me, your children, Kwesi, Mami Boatama, Yao, Atre, your grandchildren, Emily, Kwamna, and Eliana, we knew you and we know you, and we know you are a rare gem, and we treasure you, and we are very proud of you. A thousand tears won't bring you back. I know because I have cried, but I know that you made your mark in this country and beyond and you tag many lives, and those who cared to know you, those who cared to give you time to prove yourself, know what a rare gem you are. So I pray that your memory will impact and empower generations. As I celebrate my husband, 